I have had, since two videos that I did back in August, I've had quite a few of you actually asking me to do an updated work bag video. And I thought what I'd talk about in this are is good bags that are good for work as well as college or university, things that work for me, why I choose the bags that I do, and plus as well for any of you who in the last couple of videos, for any of you who were saying, I kind of do want to wear my luxury to work but I don't want the judgement of it and I don't want the kind of talk behind my back and I also don't want to potentially shoot myself in the foot when it comes to promotions and stuff, which, which can happen sometimes, uh, although it's really hard to prove, but it can happen. So I'm gonna share with you some bags, not all that I own actually, but I'm gonna share with you some bags that I think are stealth designer. They don't have big logos, but they're so nice. I'm gonna start with the ones that I don't have. The first is a bag that has actually been on my wish list for a couple of years now, and it is the Celine Classic. So it looks like this and it comes in, I think it comes in two sizes. This is the larger size. I love the simplicity of it, but also there is not a huge logo. Now the re, the own, actually the only reason why I know about this bag, a couple of years ago, I went to, it was like some sort of a, event or something and I met the nicest girl called Jennifer and I'm going to link to Jennifer's Instagram below. Jennifer had this bag and she showed me it and the quality is excellent. Now Jennifer's content as well is very, I don't know why, when I look at her Instagram I feel very kind of calm and peaceful. There's kind of like a combination of fashion and of beauty and her photography is really nice. So this bag, I've seen it firsthand, I don't own it yet. I've seen it firsthand, the quality is amazing, but because there's not a huge logo on it, you wouldn't know, but it still looks put together. The next bag, and actually this was recommended to me by one of you guys on that last video, and it is the Yves Saint Laurent Sac Du Jour. Now, the, I think there is a logo on that bag, but it's tiny, and it's on the front, it's quite discreet. One of you might have told me the logo's on the actual inside of the top bit, Maybe it is, but either way, it's a very discreet bag. I've tried those bags before and the quality of the leather is so good. I really do like Yves Saint Laurent actually because I think their prices are really good uh, compared with where everything else is going with Chanel and things like that. It's the kind of thing that's quite practical for work because of the shape of it. It looks quite business but also it doesn't look really flamboyant. And one of you as well, I'm gonna try and find your comment and put it in here. One of you made the most perfect point in that last video, which is that you don't go and buy luxury because you wanna look rich or you wanna carry a logo and have everyone go, oh my God, isn't she so rich? And I, and I made that point in that video. I think sometimes when you get those comments, um, it's kind of, maybe assumed, oh, you've got more money than sense and you're trying to prove a point with it. And actually for the majority of people, you there might be an element of uh, kudos and carrying a logo, but I think for a lot of us, yourself included, you said that the reason why you like buying designer is you just feel that particularly with a bag, it makes you look put together, neat and tidy, and it makes you look sharp. And I and I kind of do know where you're coming from and I kind of do agree with that. The Nikki tote bag. This actually does have a logo on it. Now with, with the Nikki range, you can get them in at the moment in black, burgundy, gray, I think navy as well, and cream. But the logos on them are matte and they're painted the same color as the bag. So they don't stand out too much. And again, this is a really good shape bag for work if you're carrying papers or even possibly a laptop, depending on the size of your laptop or iPads or anything like that. Then the final bag, which I actually saw a couple of weeks ago and I thought that could actually be really good for work. It's this. This is by Salvatore Ferragamo. Hope I've, hope I've pronounced that right. Whenever I say that brand, I always get really tongue twisted. This is the thing with work bags. They tend to take a battering in my experience 
and I'm talking about a work bag that might carry a laptop or papers and I'm gonna show you some of mine to show you an example of that in a second. But with this, because of the color of it, it's more likely to hide any imperfections, but it is practical. There's no big logo on it. And I also really like that strap as well. I think that's quite cool. And it makes what looks like in many ways a rather plain and possibly mature looking bag. I think it makes it look really cool and a bit younger. I don't know how many of you are with me on this, but the reason why um, I like the idea of taking designer to work and I'm not necessarily talking about like a Chanel classic flap actually, I'm talking about something more practical for work. The only reason is, is because I don't want to go and spend money on something that is poor quality and I'm gonna end up changing quite frequently. I've said before, I used to, when I was um, like in my t early 20s, like teenager, I used to buy a lot of bags from River Island and I loved the design and um, I love how they looked, but they used to have this kind of plastic inner lining and all, it used to like flake off and peel off or the bag would break. I just remember I was forever replacing those bags. And whereas I, I feel, in my experience, I would rather buy one good quality bag that will last and won't date than buy lots of cheaper bags that I'm constantly having to replace. So even with the next bags I'm gonna show you, although they aren't big brand names, they're of that quality where they don't, they haven't got, got damaged. Um, the first thing is this. This one of you actually asked me about when I, I think like I did a workwear styling video and I had one of you asking me about it. So this is actually a laptop case and it is in like a pebbled, leather in really pale pink on the inside on the inside it's oh i've still got papers in it on the in and more okay i've got i've got like stuff in it on the inside it's lined with like a micro suede and then it's also on the back of it it's got another pocket so i typically if i'm going to a meeting and I don't want to take a whole bag with me and I want to take papers and I don't want some scruffy looking notebook. I'll put the scruffy looking notebook in this and I feel like it looks better. So it's kind of got an envelope design. This is actually by Senrev. They gave me this two years ago. This video is not sponsored. I'm just showing this because this is the stuff that I use. So that's the first thing. The second bag that I use some of you are gonna be um, maybe a bit bored of this because you've seen it before, but um, for those of you who asked, I'll just show you again. Aspinall of London is a brand that I like when I want more of a covert bag or a bag that, as I said earlier, isn't cheap. It's not gonna fall apart. The handle's not gonna come off. The lining is not gonna rip up. Doesn't Kate Middleton or the Royal Family, they wear these bags. If you look at the Royal Family, it's not that I live, live my life going by what they're doing, but I'm just saying, if you look at the royal family, they don't tend to wear, well, they never wear big logos. And when it comes to like quality, I don't know, with this brand, I just feel that maybe them wearing it has elevated the brand a bit, but it's kind of like a true English brand. This actually comes in two sizes. There is a smaller size. This size is exactly the same dimensions as the Chanel classic flap. It's kind of a taupe material. The leather is like really buttery soft. It's got a, um, the handle on it's quite heavy, but in a nice way, in a kind of expensive feeling way. It's got a magnetic closing pocket on the back. Then on the inside, I've padded it so that it's keeping its shape. But on the inside, it opens like this. And it has got it's got two compartments and then it's got a zip section. And then finally, for my laptop bag, and I'm showing you this in particular because I want to demonstrate why, for the most part, I'm actually quite glad that I don't use my designer bags at work because this is a good example of how ruined they can get. The next bag is this. This was also given to me by Senrev in 2018. 
I use it for work. I use it pretty much daily and there are signs of wear and tear on it, which I will show you. So first of all, can you see there is a crease across there? I can't actually get that out. That's because I loaded up and I put my Mac laptop in it, which is like 15 inch or something. And it's a really heavy laptop. And I think I must have put it on something and it's creased. But you know, we're talking about a bag here that I use nine to five, seven days a week since 2018. So for a bag that's that old, it's actually in quite good condition. So this is my laptop bag. Now, is there any other marks on it to mention? The feet are a bit scratched up. I suppose there is like a tiny bit of dye transfer around here. When I use this, I don't have to worry about it. It's quite hard wearing. And when I, most of the time, when I take the tube to go to a meeting or something, unless I'm driving, but most of the time it's the tube. When you're on the train, it gets knocked, it gets bashed. I don't want that happening to my designer stuff. I did have one of you actually asking about the tilting of these bags. So they do, when you hold them, they do that. If you wear them on your shoulder, it kind of levels itself back out again. Really, the only time it does that is when you hold it by the top handle. And it depends really how much of an issue that is for you. Let me know what you think about the um, suggested designer ones that have got discrete logos on them. If you own in any of these bags and you use them for work, do share whether you've been found out <laughs> for them in the first place. And also I know there are some of you that just really don't care, so you wear it and um, good on you if that's what you want to do. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next video.